This video is a description of the parallel minimal insertion technique for anesthetic injection. This technique was first described in the dermatology literature. Here I'm going to show its use in the world of emergency medicine. An optimal use would be when providing anesthetic for an abscess, which is typically one of the most painful procedures we do. My first recommendation would be to apply a topical vapor coolant agent like ethyl chloride spray. This will help the patient to feel less pain with that initial injection. You'll use a 27 or 30 gauge needle. You'll place it bevel face down as you begin to eject immediately upon skin entry. During this video, I'll play audio clips of the patient's actual reported pain throughout the procedure. I'm curious, report the amount of pain you're feeling as we go. Okay, just a pinch. You'll apply constant light pressure on the syringe as you slowly advance and inject the anesthetic. Using this technique, there's no need for aspirating as you go because you're going so superficially. An ideal anesthetic agent to use in this situation would be a warmed, buffered lidocaine with epinephrine. The epinephrine part is critical because that causes blanching of the skin, which is going to be visible and help you to guide the advancement of your needle. Think of it like this. You're creating a little lake of lidocaine, which is going to be just ahead of your needle at all times, which is going to prevent the patient from feeling the sting of that needle insertion. How's it feel? Uh, I can feel the, the pressure of the liquid, but... Uh -huh. but um, Not too the, painful? Yeah, the needle itself. It's, it's actually... Yeah. I can barely feel it. Great. The authors of this report stated that patients reported visual analog scale pain scores of less than one for injection of the face, the scalp, and the neck region, with more than half of their patients reporting no pain at all. Critical appraisal of this technique as a study certainly leaves some unanswered questions regarding its generalizability and reproducibility, but I would argue there's probably little downside to trying a kinder and gentler approach to giving your patients anesthesia properly. How's the pain? Uh, actually, I don't feel it at all right now. Not at all? Yeah. Excellent. To read more about this technique, you can check out this reference, and to learn more about this technique and other techniques in basic and advanced wound care, make sure to check out Closing the Gap at www.lacerationrepair.com.